Hey friends, we're going to continue with the Indian stories and before we start, I want to show you these two puppets I made. Okay, um, see, they, this one is a monkey and this one is a doggy and it even says the doggy's name here. Okay, so today we're going to read The Grasshopper and the Ant. I hey um I I I'm sure you've never been bitten by a grasshopper, but have you been bitten by an ant? I've been bitten by an ant at least twice. Okay, back to the story. In the summer, everything was bright and beautiful. Food was plentiful. Plentiful. A grasshopper ate to its hearts content and sang merrily. He saw ants collecting and carrying food. He laughed at them. He said to an ant who was his friend, how greedy you people are. You are working when it is time for joy. What a pity. The ant said, my Dear friend, we are storing food for the winter. After summer came winter. The brightness of the summer was gone. Food was getting scarce. Then, grasshopper, then the grasshopper found it difficult to get food for himself. And at last came time came the time for him to starve. So one day the grasshopper knocked at the door uh, of his friend, the ant. He requested her to give him something to eat. The ant said, You spend the summer singing merrily, now you spend the winter d dank danking. I won't give anything to a lazy creature like you. And the and uh, and she shut the her door on his face. The and see, this is the grasshopper who was singing merrily, and he's asking his friend and the ant to to give him her food. And she said that you have been so lazy and just singing merrily through the summer and I won't give you any food. So oh, this is her food. And so she, she, she just shut her door in the grasshopper's face. So, and the moral of the story is save today's surpluses for tomorrow's needs. That means save today's extra for tomorrow's needs. The end. Goodbye.